Hey guys, I just wanted to make a uh, quick video showing you guys how to play I Want to Be a Warhol by Alkaline Trio. Um, I personally had a lot of trouble learning this song just because well, sometimes I watch other covers, you know, figure it out if I can't do it by ear. And I saw a lot of guys playing it down here. and But then I watched Alkaline Trio live and I knew he was doing something up here, but I couldn't figure out exactly what it was. And then I uh, finally found this acoustic version they did that very clearly showed how they play it live. Which is a little bit like some, they play different Fs. You know, they, they play it up here instead of down here sometimes, like they do on the recording. But um, I'll show you both ways how to play it, and uh, you can use whichever one you want. Okay, so the intro starts off on a A. Which is a not your normal A. It's a little bit funky one. It um, open A. You strum ten on the D string and nine on the G string, and let the other ones ring out too below it. Make you mute that mute that E string soon. It's first chord, second chord. It's an F. And basically, it's an F power chord with another like power chord underneath it. So these guys right here and these guys right here, and you put them together, make that chord. So first two chords. Then for the uh, third chord. All you do, you keep that same position, move your pointer finger down to the E string, make a C. Third chord. Next chord, it's basically it's the same C chord, but all you do is take your pinky, and instead of having it up here, you move it right back behind your in, uh, ring finger. string without playing the A string, mute that. So and right before you play that again, you move up your you move up two frets on the E string. So you put your guy right there. Nothing. So I'll play the whole progression together. And the last chord is a G, which is a power chord on 10 on the A, uh, 12 on the D, and 12 on the G. I have dropped my pick. So, whole intro. And while he's doing that second part in the recording, he's also going. And he's just coming in on that other G, which is three on the A, two on the A, open A, one on the E, and then three on the E. Now when the words come in, it's basically it's the same chords you're using in the intro, in just a little bit different order. So I start off with that same first A chord. So you go one, down, one, two, one, two, three. And then you move your pinky guy in there. And then back off. Go to the F chord. F chord, C chord, modified weird G chord. So that's your C right there. Just keep that same position and move it up two frets on the E string. So 
So that's the whole verse except the last one is. So A. F. G. Okay, so that's the intro on the verse. Chorus, C chord down here. All you do, C, C chord, which is, for those of you who don't know, 3 on the A, 5 on the D, and 5 on the G. Next chord's an A. All you do is take this finger off, mute the E string with your thumb or something, and play the A, D, and G strings. So, so far we have... down to a G, but it's not this G. Take these two fingers and move them up where you just had them for that C chord and the A chord. So you take it, your finger and move down a string. So far. That's the chorus, uh, and I'm gonna. Oh, there's a link in the description of the YouTube video that I used to uh, kind of create this lesson. The YouTube I used to learn off of, and what he's doing is a little something like. So basically, all he's doing there is just. Instead of having your um, pinky on the G string, you just move it down the fret once in a while. Just one. They do that for each chord. Okay, from there you go back into the intro. With that on top of it, verse. Whoopsie. Chorus after the verse. So in the interlude, staring down at you. A. F chord. C. So the first three. In the recording, he plays them down here, so he's going. But just for easiness, I just keep it up here. I mean, who's really going to notice? Next time around, second time around, god dang, flying everywhere. A chord, F chord, that's wrong, do not play that. A chord, C, weird G, C, make it like an octave with like a C. Add that pinky in, two frets and a string above. All you're doing for that is moving the up two frets on the E string. So all together, first two. Third one, same as the first one. one, F, G. 
So I'll hold it and it together. Playing the, so then after that, one guitar is playing the chorus. And one guitar is playing that little riff, which is basically, it's the same exact chords as the chorus. So you're going... Um, so that'd be... A, D, G, G. So you drop in the fret. A, D, G, G. A, G. I know live he adds that back in. Whatever you want to do. Uh, same thing, except take this finger away. Same thing except drop this finger down the string to the to the uh, E string. Wait, so we're playing at number three, fret three, whatever. And then the last one is up on the F, the normal F power chord. Same strumming. It's all together. Ending. Still hung up on A, F, G. Still hung up on So That should do it. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, if you guys like me doing these lesson things, I'll do more of them. Um, but I encourage all of you to use your ears to learn songs, not always just watch people. I was I was those guys too, trust me. That's how I learned is off tabs and watching people, but once you can use your ears to figure out songs, it helps a ton. Um, but yeah, I'll be putting up a cover of this also along with this lesson video. So uh, yeah, I know I have... One, you suggested X-Kid, which I'm going to get to. I should have to figure out the solo. Um, but if you guys have any other suggestions, let me know. Thanks a lot. See you later.